Do you enjoy looking at covered bridges? Did you know that uh, some people call covered bridges kissing bridges because young couples would uh, steal a kiss when they were out of the public eye? Uh, come along with us now as we take a look at some of the uh, covered bridges of Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the channel. If you uh, happen to be new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there. Uh, if you've been with me before, you know that uh, one of my hobbies is photography. And uh, since it's 18 degrees outside, and I really don't think we're going to go camping anytime soon, I thought uh, I'd dig out some uh, pictures that we did from this summer when we took a tour of uh, some of the Lancaster County covered bridges. Now, uh, Lancaster County has over two dozen covered bridges, and they have set up some uh, maps and driving tours for you to go around. So if you happen to come to uh, the Lancaster area here in Pennsylvania and uh, want something to do, uh, I'm going to put a link down in the comments section to their web page. And uh, you can download maps, you can download information about each of the uh, covered bridges that they have. Uh, I'm not going to show you all 25 because I haven't even seen all of them yet. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you a few of them that we've uh, looked at and uh, just make this a quick tour, give you some idea of some of the bridges that are around here and some of the things that you can do. So I uh, hope you join us with uh, this tour and uh, enjoy what you see. All right, so this is a uh, map of the bridges here in Lancaster County. If uh, you do come and want to take these tours, again, the link is down uh, below where you can get driving directions for each of them. It's broken down into different tours in different areas of the county. The one thing I do want to uh, kind of warn you about is you don't want to take your uh, RV with you to take this tour. Some of these bridges are just a little over 10 feet high. Uh, they're very narrow. They're all one-lane bridges, and uh, they're tight. They uh, have weight limits on them that are going to be much lower than what uh, like a big Class A would weigh. Uh, also, there's not a lot of place to park around these. Some of them you're lucky if you can park one car, maybe two when you get there. So you're not going to have a lot of place to pull off the road if you're traveling in something big. Uh, the other thing is there's really no place to turn around if you do get to a point where you can't go through. Uh, there's not turnarounds at these things either. They're out in country roads, out in the middle of the nowhere. Uh, you can see on this one, uh, it comes right out into the woods on the other side. There's no place to really turn around if you happen to be coming the other direction. So again, uh, there's probably about uh, 10 or so bridges here. In fact, one of them I went down uh, right after it snowed because it's only about 20 minutes from the house here. So there's a few pictures of uh, one of the bridges in the snow. And uh, just sit back, relax, enjoy these pictures.
Well, there you have it. I hope you uh, enjoyed some of those uh, bridges that we showed you. Uh, we hope this summer, sometime, maybe some weekend when we don't have anything going on, to uh, go out and uh, do a couple more of the tours and see some of the other bridges that we haven't even seen. So uh, again, if you're uh, new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down there uh, underneath us. And uh, we hope that uh, you guys all go out there and uh, have fun turning miles into memories.